with that being said, it has been quite the week leading up to Friday night with games on Wednesday as well as Thursday and a couple of great finishes to those games as well. For a full recap on what you may have missed throughout the week, here's 9 Overtime's Andy Morgan. High school football on a Wednesday? Get used to it. It's something we'll be seeing more and more of as the season winds down. And we saw two great games on Wednesday, one in particular. We begin at R.R. Jones Stadium, where El Paso High captured their first win in over two years, the first win in the Ray Aguilar Jr. era. The game was highlighted by a six-touchdown performance from senior quarterback Jan Arias. It was pretty special. Like, like everybody knows we haven't won um, since, like, 2018. It was really special for us, and it's just the hard work that we all put in. Arias scored the game-winning touchdown in overtime, and the Tigers' defense held giving Aguilar Jr. his first win as El Paso High's head coach. 42-36 the final. It was a big win for our program, and like you said, it's been it's been two years, uh, and, and for them to be able to experience it, you know, a lot of them didn't even know how to act last night after the win, so, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to be a part of and and, uh, and to see their reactions and, and just be around that. Over in the Northeast, the Irvin Rockets are back. Joe Urias' team remained perfect on the season with a 41-7 win over Bowie. And don't look now, but the Rockets are a perfect 4-0 atop the district with the likes of Andrus and Burgess. Every day they're just working hard. It's the work ethic that they do, and we, we, we try to make sure that they, they follow that. So when it comes to game time, they're ready to go. The work ethic that we put behind every day of practice, whether it's the coaching staff getting a game plan ready for us or the players on executing the game plan so well. And on Thursday night, two more games. The Canateo Eagles improving to 3-0 on the season with a 28-7 win over Isleta. Sophomore running back LJ Martin with another pair of touchdowns in the win. And Canateo has the look of a contender in 5A. The Eagles will play Hanks on Monday night while Isleta will host Horizon on Wednesday. And speaking of Horizon, junior running back Ernie Garcia continues to shine for this Scorpions team. 350 all-purpose yards and five touchdowns in this game for Garcia, who rushed for nearly 250 yards and had over 100 yards receiving in a 70-39 win over Hanks. The win puts Horizon at 2-3 and three for the season. He's an athlete, uh, first and foremost. He's an athlete. And so wherever you put him, um, he's going to think so. Well, we created like a, a really nice brotherhood, and a lot of us can really hold each other accountable, and we have each other's backs and pick up each other's slack. If one of us isn't performing the way another person, it's not just so one night team. And finally, the Clint Lions had their season come to an end in the area round on Thursday night. A 42-21 loss to the Cater. The Lions finished the season 6-1. For 9 Overtime, I'm Andy Morgan.